My first novel, Citizen, is about love, sex, deceit, betrayal, and then ultimately cheating. The novel is, is unbelievably true to life. In fact, I don't even know where the truth and the facts stop and the fiction starts. And I don't think anyone else who reads the book will either. And uh, I think that's going to be a little bit of an issue for some people in the horse racing business because, you know, there are some dark secrets out there. Uh, not only in horse racing, but in world sport. Uh, and I think, you know, Citizen really will ruffle some feathers. I really hope that anyone who reads Citizen will get an incredible insight into potential ways to cheat in world sport and, and maybe how cheating in, in the future in world sport will happen. I can't really say too much because it would give the plot away. Uh, but I hope that that story comes across with really interesting characters, uh, some characters who I hope people will love and some characters I hope they'll really loathe. Um, writing a novel is completely different from writing for the Daily Telegraph. Uh, it, it's difficult when, you, when you've got characters, they have to be consistent, they have to feel and say and do things that that character should do. And as soon as you change one little thing, the knock-on effects are huge. I mean, there was one moment when I decided that the heroine shouldn't sleep with somebody. And so by her not sleeping with him, I had to change about 50 pages further on in the book. So it, it really is the detail is what takes the time. And changing one detail means you change a lot. If I could be any writer in the world, I'd like to be David Lodge because I, I think he's a genius. Um, I fell in love with therapy and I think changing places is awesome. But if I could be as successful as Dick Francis, I'd be a very happy man. And Dick really has a massive audience in this area. Do I think Citizen is like Dick Francis' books? Not particularly. I'd like to think I'm more of a Dan Brown or a Freddie Forsyth.